say we have a rod like this, two rods basically, let's say, and it is joined by another rod here, and we have something here. And say this something is a film of soap. Say this film, if looked at from this side, which is if you are looking from this side, the film has a thickness of say, say some t thickness. This length is say L. So what will soap film will try to do is it will try to reduce its surface area. If it tries to reduce its surface area, this line will try to move in this direction. So what we need to do is apply a force in this direction so that this does not move. So the force which is applied has to be equal to the force applied on this line of length L. This is also length L. The force applied on this line L which is S times L. And the force which is applied on this line which is also S times L. So the force applied net on this soap film will be equal to 2 times S into L. Also, the work done will be 2 times S into delta A, which is the change in area which takes place while doing that work. Let us consider a small problem related to this. Please remember this formula, which I just stated. Energy of the surface is equal to surface tension times area of the surface, which is basically used in the problem I need to state. Say we have a spherical drop. which is of radius r. This is broken into n cube spherical drops of some radius rn. Each drop has a radius of say rn. Our task is find what that Rn is and what is the energy that is required to do this operation. This is let's say our question. To determine what Rn is What we can apply is the law of conservation of mass. Also, if we say that the density of the liquid is constant, what we apply is basically the law of conservation of volume. So initially the volume was this. And the final volume is this times n cube drops. So this is the volume of one drop multiplied by n cube which is the number of total number of drops this is going to be the same so let's eliminate these so what we have is our n cube is equal to r cube by n cube therefore r n is found out to be r by n this is what our r n is this solves the first part of the question for the second part, let's say our initial energy was, according to the formula I gave, this should be equal to this. Surface of a sphere has an area of 4 pi r square. So initially, the energy was S times 4 pi capital R square.
the final energy is also going to be of the same form except for the fact that the area of one spherical drop will change. So, using this, we find that for one small drop which formed later, the area is going to be 4 by Rn square or 4 by into R square by N square. The total final energy will be basically S times we have N cube number of drops, this times the surface area of one drop, which is 4 by R square by N square. So this cancels off with 2 N, uh, N square over here. So what we get is the final energy V 4 pi R square times S times N. So the energy we provided to do this will be the difference of the energy in the final and initial state. So we found that our initial energy was S times 4 pi R square or 4 pi R square S. This was our initial energy. We provide some energy to it. So basically it's EI plus some energy. This will give us the final product. So the final product what we found was 4 pi R square into S into N. Using this, we see that the energy required is basically energy time, energy of the final product minus energy of the initial product. This equals 4 pi R square S, which comes out common, times N minus 1. So this is basically the change in energy or the energy required. Let's say I write it as E required. to do this operation. 